Okay, so today I'm going to talk about one of my bigger items in the collection room, and that is this. Oh. Super Mario Kart ride on from Japan. It's going to be a really tough box to show you. Um, so it does have where it shows Mario glows. Um, another thing of interest on here. There's just a lot of art and stuff to get through, but um, where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, so heavy. Um, so there's a Toys R Us sticker on here for 15,000 yen, 14,999 yen, which is about $150. But I did not know that uh, Toys R Us was in Japan. Um, maybe it was just, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I never, I've never heard of that. Anyway, here's the full box. It looks like there's a bunch of stickers to put on the cart at various places. And I've never opened this box. There's also like a little kid's driver's license or something in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up since it's not sealed. I've never really opened it. I don't know why. The box is a little beat up. I gotta set it down here. And it's just. Oof. It's wrapped in a bunch of Japanese newspaper. Now, sometimes I'll go through these. Because um, it's interesting to see. This is just the seat, so it's not necessarily interesting. Oh, okay. move all the stuff out. Okay. Oh. So the seat would go on top of here. The cool part, though, is the Mario figure. The head does move, and the arms even move. That's really odd that they decided to do that. I'm assuming the steering wheel isn't part of there. All the stickers are on it. And pretty intact. Looks pretty good. It says socket. I don't know what that's all about. That's kind of funny. This little fake motor back here. And this is a really weird looking battery. I don't know if you can see that. See this battery here? You can't get something like that here. Hmm. So it looks like it had to assemble it. Looks like it, there's like a fake display on here. And there's like a little on off key. And the key's taped here. And there's like a, oh, it's a forward and reverse switch. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> Looks pretty snazzy. This is like the go pedal. Hmm. I've never seen it. Oh, I've had this for a while. Let's see if I can get it back in the box. Oh, sorry. Um, I've had it for a while, and uh, it did cost quite a bit to ship it here. Um, it was years ago, though, I think. I don't know. I've had it in storage for a long time, and then I had it uh, back behind the two bookcases that made the island in the middle of the statues. Um, and I moved a bunch of stuff recently so I could get to it, and I hadn't opened it, so I figured I'd do a video for you guys. Um, but that is the Super Mario Kart Japanese ride-on, and I think that's the earliest Mario ride-on. I have the other one, the one from Jack Specific, the World of Nintendo one, that uh, is the Mario Kart Seven? I don't think it's Mario Kart 8. I think it's Mario Kart 7. Um, yeah, there's like a deal at a local store that they were trying to clearance them when I got mine. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching that one. That was kind of a short one, but yeah, thanks.